Hi guys, so today I'm here with a new video and for once I'm filming on my new camera which is the Canon EOS 700D also known as the Canon Rebel T5i if you're from America and Ireland I think it is So today I'm here to show you what is on my iPod Touch 5 and I'm really excited to show you this because I've had this video planned for ages and I've finally got my editor so now I can show you So let's get on with the video my iPod touch and it is pink on the back and white on the front it is the fifth generation and I bought this about a year and a half ago um, for 220 pounds and um, this is the 32 gigabyte iPod so I've got a lot of memory on here at the moment although my memory is pretty low on it but um, this is the back of it camera on the back shoots in full HD for 1080p and um, there's like a flash there and a microphone and I'm not really sure what this bit is um, but then it's got the iPod logo here here it has like this connector thing where you can connect your um, loop to it and they do recommend this but I don't ever use it I think the loop's still in the box it's the front camera and this shoots in about 720 and um, the home buttons here and I have a screen protector on it but um, it's really annoying it's really bubbly and stuff but I just keep it on there so it doesn't get scratched but up and down it has got a few dents in it I'm afraid the side are the volume buttons I've literally had to turn the brightness right up because otherwise it's too dark but this is my wallpaper and it's one of the Apple ones so it like moves when you tilt it and stuff and then it's got the time the battery the iPod Wi-Fi and um, if you drag down here you can view like today's stats and notifications and things and then um, if you pull this up airplane mode uh, you can turn the Wi-Fi on and off Bluetooth, um, the moon I think is do not disturb and then portrait orientation and then the brightness is here as you can see I've had to put it right up um, and then these are just like the play and skip buttons for the music and sound, airdrop, torch, stopwatch, um, calculator and the camera and then if you pull this up you can like shoot pictures so as you can see here's me and this is the 720 one and then here um, is the 1080p one and um, you can choose like on and off for the flash HDR means like it boosts enhancement of the HD I think it is and then this button here is the timer so you can set a timer and then here um, nine different filter effects which you can use and my favourite are chrome and instant and then you can select video, time lapse photo and square. It's my case but it's breaking, I've had it ever since I got my iPod and I'm hoping to buy a new one, um, it's just like a flip case. A home screen menu and this is basically all the apps which you get with the iPod, I'm not going to read them out as there's too many of them but I'm going to show you some of the basics, I'm not going to show you every single app because that would just take forever um, but you've seen the camera at the notes section where you can just add like various notes and stuff the iTunes store where you can buy music, um, the app store where you can just purchase apps and download some for free. Here I have the regular apps which I use quite a lot so I've got messages where you can do um, free uh, texting over Wi-Fi basically and then down here is the mail but I don't ever use the mail honestly and then Safari I just like use to research stuff and it's basically the internet. Music. I basically have about 926 songs and some of them are really old music and some like really new but I don't obviously listen to that amount of music and then if you have iOS 8 um, I've got the iOS 8 operating system then you will be aware that you get given four extra apps at no extra cost and um, you get iBooks, podcasts, tips, health and then um, I don't really use these to be honest here I have my Instagram app and I'm, I am literally obsessed with Instagram and if you haven't already followed me then please do that um, I'm Karen Swift 98 on here I just check my Instagram like every single day and stuff because I'm obsessed Snapchat, Snapchat you can just basically send pictures um, to your friends and stuff and these are all my contacts the Twitter app uh, Trackgram is an app where you can see who's followed you and who has unfollowed you on Instagram iMovie, sometimes now and again I'll film my YouTube videos onto my iPod and iMovie is what I use as my editing software um, when I film videos on my iPod Tropic is this app where you can resize pictures and stuff that's how I get my white background on Instagram. AVR is a picture editing app. Video Star is an app where you can make like uh, music videos and stuff. Video Effects Live is another video editing software, but I rarely ever use that. Super Impose, you can create edits, Insta Collage, um, it's basically this collage which you can use out of pictures. Fonto um, is where you can add text to your pictures, which I use on my inspired Tumblr Instagram account. And then Font is exactly the same, but for videos, 
Feature Points is this app where you can download various apps and then you can get given um, points as rewards and then you can use those points to save up for gift vouchers and things like that. My Media is this app which I use to just download free music and stuff like that and Stick Hero is like some game. I've got all the Temple Runs, Minion Rush, Subway Surfers, Parking Mania, Crash Bandicoot, Nitro Kart 2, both of the Candy Crushes, I've got Candy Crush and a Candy Crush Soda Saga, which is the most recent one. I still have Flappy Bird, um, both of the Dumb Ways to Die. The Reckless app, I paid £2.99 for. Uh, this book which I bought, which is called Reckless Journal, I've got both of them, called Moshi Village, um, where you can create your own village and stuff. I don't ever use that. I've got an Angry Birds Star Wars, which I paid for. Angry Birds Rio, the Heads Up game, which I paid 69p for. Crossy Road and Circle. It's basically everything which, which I have on my iPod, I think. If I've missed anything out, then I'm sorry, let me know in the comment below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'm not too sure how this video is going to turn out, as this is the very first time I've filmed on this camera. And also, this is the very first time I've used my editor. If you guys enjoyed this video anyway, because it was fun to make. Subscribe for more videos. Bye!